Hello and welcome to the skiing and snowboarding class presentation. My name is Jeff Morrow. I'm the director of the basic construction program here at Winthrop and I also coordinate a lot of the outdoor adventure classes that students can take. Uh, one of the classes that I get to coordinate every year are these skiing and snowboarding classes that uh, consists basically of a four-day trip that we take. So the purpose of today is to answer a lot of the questions that students have about the, the class and the steps needed to participate in this trip. So we'll get started. Uh, so the four-day trip uh, takes place the week prior to the start of classes here at Winthrop for spring 2019. Uh, this year's trip will be Monday, December 31st through Thursday, January the 3rd. Uh, classes don't begin back here at Winthrop until the next Monday, January the 7th. Uh, where do we go? We head up to Boone, uh, North Carolina, about two and a half hours northwest, straight up Highway 321. Uh, really simple drive and uh, not too far, uh, but still far enough for us to enjoy a great ski and snowboard trip. What's included in the trip? So whether I sign up for the beginner or the intermediate section, both include the same things. Uh, first, you're going to have four sessions of skiing and snowboarding, uh, Monday night, and then Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. First three days, we're going to be at Appalachian Ski Mountain in Blowing Rock. Um, this is going to be where all of your lessons happen. Uh, it is home to the French Swiss Ski College. They're the ones who kind of coordinate this trip for us. Uh, App Ski Mountain is something of a smaller mountain. Uh, but it has every kind of terrain that you need to learn and progress on. So everything from bunny slopes to black diamonds. Um, and the, the smaller mountain size really allows you to pace yourself a little bit better, especially beginners, without fatiguing as quickly. So great venue for our first three days. Uh, the final day, they do send us to a little bit of a larger mountain. Sugar Mountain is probably the most well-known mountain up in um, that area. It's in Banner Elk. Um, so the last day our lessons are over and we get to enjoy a little bit larger of a venue. All of your instruction is provided. Again, the French Swiss Ski College, uh, nationally renowned ski and snowboard educators. Um, they are a top-notch program and uh, you will have three lessons on Monday through Wednesday. Uh, most students don't have their own equipment, and that's okay. French Swiss will rent that equipment out to anyone who has need, uh, whether you're skiing or snowboarding. All of your lift tickets will be included as well. Um, lodging for the three nights. This is a big one. They put us up at a Super 8 right there in Boone. And then you'll get a textbook for your course, whether you ski or snowboard. Um, you'll notice that we do have two trips, two classes offered in Wingspan, a beginner and an intermediate section. Um, we do have a lot of students who take this class one year and really enjoy it, want to take it again next year. So if this turns out to be something you really enjoy, you could come back a year from now um, and take the other section. Okay, a couple things not included. Transportation, um, just due to the size of the group and the location where we're going. Um, it's not really feasible for us to rent a bus, so you will be carpooling most likely with your roommates. We'll be talking about them in a bit. Uh, carpooling up to Boone and then to and from the mountain each day. Generally, the, the carpool uh, folks kind of split those transportation costs, but again, not going too far. Meals. Um, this would be primarily lunch and dinner since the Super 8 has a nice complimentary breakfast in the morning and we have plenty of time to enjoy that. Um, when it comes to meals, you have a lot of options. There are, um, there's an abundance of restaurants and grocery stores up in that area. So you can, you can do some meal prep. You don't have to eat out all the time. Um, ski lodges do have cafeterias, not the biggest proponent of their food. Uh, and it tends to be super pricey. Um, so just a little bit of planning, you can really kind of cut down on some of that meal expense. Uh, for me personally, I like stuffing my uh, ski jacket full of snacks. Don't want to eat a big meal during the day while I'm skiing, so I just snack throughout the day. Um, and then I might go out and grab a little something for dinner. Okay, important slide. This is the cost of the trip. You'll notice that the trip cost is dependent upon... Uh, a few different factors and just bear in mind that these rates cover everything that was on that slide um, for items included in the trip. 
Um, so first, you can see the middle two columns, skiing or, or snowboarding. Uh, snowboarding does tend to cost a little bit more than the skiing, and that's just because the equipment costs a little bit more uh, to rent. Um, in the far right column, though, you can see that if you own your own equipment, you can kind of cut out that reservation fee um, altogether. Um, the far left column, you'll see the cost is also broken down by the number of people you'll be sharing a room with. Uh, you'll notice that the three and four person rooms, that means you're sharing a hotel room with two or three people, uh, that, that is where you see the biggest cost break and most of the groups who come on the trip probably try and shoot for that, uh, but you're no mean, by no means required to. Uh, if you want to have your own room or uh, be in a room with one other person, totally fine. Uh, just kind of take note of what those rates will be. Um, also, that bottom row, own housing, if you know someone who lives in the Boone area, rel relatively close to where we are, you are welcome to stay with them and just kind of save on that housing expense altogether. Um, at the very bottom, you'll see that it says $110 of this fee is non-refundable. So if you decide that you want to go on the trip and you make the payment, and then for some reason later on decide that you don't want to go or for some reason can't go, uh, French Swiss will process a refund, but they're going to keep $110. That's non-refundable. They've already made some reservations. Your roommates were kind of banking on you being a part of their rooming group. So just bear that in mind. Also, uh, you will be paying by way of a credit and debit card, and those additional uh, processing, card processing fees have already been calculated into these rates. So um, that should be uh, finalized there. All right, <clears throat> these rates are pretty heavily discounted. French Swiss has really made a, a concerted effort to keep these rates really low because they know your college students enrolled in this class for a credit. So they've kind of worked out the partnerships with the mountains, the ski schools, the hotels to really try and keep these rates low. Because of that, uh, these costs are restricted to you, college students who are enrolled in this class for credit, meaning I can't just invite friends, family members to participate and share in the trip expense. Uh, lessons are important uh, for a lot of reasons. The, the first one being uh, it's close to 80% of people who try skiing and snowboarding for the first time without lessons never do it again um, because they just don't have the best experience. It's one of those things that looks easy when you watch it on TV, uh, but when it comes to actually learning it, it does take time and those lessons are very critical. Um, so if you've never had lessons before, this is a great opportunity to really uh, learn how to perform the skills and to really feel control over your turns on the mountain. Uh, if you already know how to ski or snowboard, they do have intermediate and advanced lessons. We'll make sure you're in a class that kind of challenges you um, to continue to grow in your skill. <coughs> okay, brief itinerary of the trip. Uh, you'll notice that we are going to drive up to Boone. We're going to be at their rental location at about 3 p.m. Uh, that's where we'll kind of check in with them, pick up all of our equipment, our lift tickets for the first night. After that, it's a five-minute drive down the road to the Super 8, where we'll kind of get settled in there. Uh, there will be a brief meeting with me at the hotel, just kind of ground rules for the week. Uh, but beyond that, we're getting suited up and heading to App Ski Mountain for our first evening ski session. Uh, upon arriving, they're going to divide you into your classes. Uh, and if you are a beginner, your class will be held first thing. Classes last about one hour. Uh, beyond that, uh, we just kind of have open ski time, practice, practice time. You're welcome to work on things that you learned in your lessons. Um, and just kind of enjoy your time on the slopes. Our finish time, we're going to be wrapped up by 10 o'clock. You'll notice that Tuesday and Wednesday, uh, they are fairly identical days. We're back at Apsky Mountain. Um, we don't have to be at the mountain until 11.45 a.m., meaning you get to sleep in a little bit and get a nice breakfast before you head to the mountains. Um, time on the slopes is going to be noon to 8 uh, at some point during the day, you will have your, your lesson. Your instructors will let you know when and where to meet for those. 
uh, and you must attend those lessons. On Wednesday, after your final lesson, your instructor will give you uh, a skills test. Um, sometimes they tell you that they're doing it, and other times they don't. So, but that, that will take place at the end of your final lesson. <clears throat> You'll notice that on Thursday, this is our earlier morning. We have to check out of the hotel first thing, and then we're going to be driving to Sugar Mountain. Uh, we have to be there between 8.30 and 9 o'clock uh, to check in. Our time at Sugar is 9 to 4.30. Uh, all of our equipment has to be returned to the rental location, French Swiss Rentals, by 5 p.m., which is no problem because we pass right by it on the way down the mountain heading home. Uh, and really beyond that, have a safe trip home. We'll see you back in Rock Hill uh, next week. A few trip guidelines. So again, if you sign up for the trip and then find out that you cannot participate, it's your responsibility to let me know as soon as possible. Uh, that way I can contact French Swiss and we can begin processing that refund. The fees for this class will not be charged to your student account. Um, they will need to be paid by way of a credit or a debit card at a special registration meeting um, that we'll be holding on Tuesday, November the 13th at 11. Uh, this is going to be held in the West Center Computer Lab. Uh, Winthrop does have an online store where you'll be making this payment. Um, so making sure that you, you are prepared to do that and to register with your roommates will be important. <clears throat> okay, the one uncontrollable factor whenever we do stuff outside is the weather. Um, we know it'll be January. We know we'll be up in Boone. It'll probably be cold, but we just really don't know what the day-to-day, hour-to-hour forecast will look like uh, at this point. Basically, we're going to make the best of what we have. There are lots of different types of snow conditions we could see, um, but we'll kind of just make the best of what we have. Uh, skiing and snowboarding is at your own risk, and um, finally, carpooling is strongly encouraged. Parking at Appalachia Ski Mountain is a dollar a day, um, and it is free at Sugar Mountain. A little bit more about the weather. Um, so if there is snow on the ground, um, French Swiss, they're designed their program to run their programs and use what they have. Um, if you show up and it's not what you were expecting or not up to your standard, you can opt out of the program. French Swiss will give you a refund, um, all but $110. However, uh, at that point, you'll need to find a way to get home. Uh, if, for, if you begin the program, um, French Swiss will not be processing a refund. And then finally, if for some reason there's no snow in Boone in January, or they haven't been able to make the snow at the mountains, we'll get a full refund. We'll talk about this slide a little bit more at our registration meeting. <clears throat> okay, so whenever we do stuff outside, um, there are three basic layers that we like to wear. And again, the primary purpose of layering for cold weather sports is to keep us warm and dry. First layer you're going to put on, it's kind of like uh, that base layer, kind of like a synthetic athletic material, uh, like non-cotton layers, kind of like the Under Armour type material designed to wick moisture away from you to keep you dry. Um, beyond that, we're going to put a mid layer or an insulating layer on over this. This is like a fleece or um, a hoodie or a sweater, you know, just something a little more bulky to kind of build up some of that buffer um, over that base layer. Uh, finally, we're going to have that outer layer. This is going to be your ski jacket or your ski bibs or snowboard pants. This tends to be uh, a water resistant or waterproof layer. Um, designed to kind of keep the warmth in, but kind of keep the water and the cold out. So, um, very important layer to have for this. Uh, some additional clothing needs just to be mindful of. Um, a hat, something warm to keep on your head if it's cold. If you are a beginning snowboarder, I highly recommend, almost require that you get a helmet. Um, Something warm to keep on your face if it is uh, cold or really windy out. Uh, goggles or sunglasses. Uh, this is for protection from the cold, but also from the brightness of the snow if the sun is out. 
Uh, your ski jacket and your ski bibs or pants are next on the list. You'll notice that, that these are items that French Swiss will rent out to you. They can be pricier, pricier if you're looking to buy uh, a good pair. So if you don't want to buy them, you can rent them from French Swiss. You can get one or the other, your jacket or your bibs, for $20. That's the rate for the full trip. Or you can get both for $35. Um, gloves and mittens, something warm to keep on your hands. Uh, insulated uh, is required. And then finally, socks, something warm to keep on your feet. The big fuzzy socks, not just the little ankle cut. So... There is a final exam. Don't let that scare you away. Uh, most of the other schools, universities that are up there make their students take the exam while they are there. Uh, this is something that we kind of keep and hold off on. Uh, it's something I will send to you once we're back here at Winthrop that next week. Uh, it's a take-home exam. You can use your book, uh, reflect back on your experience, and I'll kind of let you know when and where that is due. Um, exams are all multiple choice, true, false, matching, and there are no essay. You're welcome. So it is registration season here at Winthrop. So one, as you're enrolling, make sure that you sign up in one or the other, uh, either beginner or intermediate in wingspan. What do you need to do now? Um, it's still not too late to get the word out and tell friends a little bit about the this class, this trip. Many may be unaware. We are running out of time, though. So the sooner you can make them aware, uh, the better. Um, there may be some additional information meetings. I will be sending that out via email if I do get any scheduled. But for now, uh, this presentation may be kind of serving that purpose. Your rooming groups, it is very important that you begin uh, organizing your group right now, kind of figuring out who those people are gonna be that you're gonna be sharing a room with. You need to communicate now and stay in touch with those people up until the registration meeting. Uh, again, I'll let you know if I get any more scheduled. Okay, important information. The registration meeting, the formal registration meeting for this trip is Tuesday, November the 13th at 11 a.m. It'll be held in the West Center uh, Computer Lab. Fees will be paid at this time. Um, and you'll be making payment online with, you'll need a credit or a debit card. Uh, in addition to making payment, we're going to be filling out some forms, uh, registration forms for French Swiss, on which you're going to be listing and confirming your roommates, uh, indicating whether you're skiing or snowboarding, and also what your current skill level is. Again, if you need to get in touch with me for any reason, if you have any questions about this trip, uh, this class, please don't hesitate to contact me. I am very glad to help. Cool. Thank you for your time. Um, again, I'm glad to help if any of you have any questions, but I'm hoping you can join us and look forward to seeing you at the registration meeting. Bye-bye.